Hi, this is Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today on Buyer Masterclass, we're going to talk about the light switch function. Now, the light switch function allows you to operate several different functions with one stick movement. Uh, so you can add, do things like fog lights, headlights, low beams, high beams, tail lights, um, all with one stick movement. Really great for saving uh, radio channels, um, especially if you've got a six channel radio. Um, and also, in some cases, it might be easier to operate your model. You don't have to remember quite so many stick movements. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. It works great. I'll show you how. Let's get started. Today we're going to look at the light switch function. And with the light switch function, you can turn on and turn off a whole bunch of lights with just one stick movement. It would be uh, similar to what the MFC does. In other words, we could turn on like fog lights, headlights, high beams, all with the same stick. Really useful if you're running out of channels on your radio, which is very easy to do, especially with a six channel radio. And uh, so you can do a whole bunch of functions with, uh, with just one stick movement. Uh, for this, I'm gonna use an LED-8 test strip because it's got a whole bunch of LEDs on it. So I've got my SFR all hooked up just like normal. So uh, again, I'm going to zoom in on the screen and show you the uh, programming setup. And then we'll, we'll zoom back out and show how that affects the, uh, the lights. So uh, I will zoom in, we'll get started. Okay, I've got my sound teacher software set up here. So let's take a look at the light switch function. Now we're going to go to the configuration tab and we're going to go to prop channel 3 which on my radio of course is this right here and we're going to do short in position and the light switch is the very top thing here. There's light switch plus which means it turns on a light every time you move the stick and then down here at the bottom, there's a light switch minus, which turns off the light every time you move the stick. So we move it up, it turns the light on, down it turns the light off. And every time you move it up, it's gonna turn on another light. So let's take a look at, at uh, how that works. So we're gonna go here to outputs, and we're gonna go to light switch the third one over. Now you can see here there's step 0, step 1, step 2, and step 3. Well we're actually going to increase that over here to six steps. Down arrow, six. Okay, and every time we click the switch it's going to turn on another light. Then running across the top here is daytime running light, parking light, low beam headlight, high beam headlight, front fog light, and rear fog light. Now these ones that are already filled in are reversing light possible, brake light possible, and indicator possible. Which means no matter what the settings are here, the reverse light, the brake light, and the turn signals could come on. Now you can obviously click those off if you didn't want them to come on, but you can see that I'm stepping here. So step one is daytime running light. Step two is parking light. And notice that it's all filled in, which means every time I step through the lights, it stays on. Whereas the daytime running light is going to turn off after the first step. And so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill in the rest of these. So the lights will all stay on. Okay, and then every time, you can see every time I click, it's going to turn on another light. So now I've got to go over here to outputs, and I've got to set an output for each of those lights. So daytime running lights will be output 1. Output 2. Is going to be my parking lights. Output three is going to be my low beam headlight. 
whoops, don't want to do that, I want parking lights there, I got a weird, I have to do a weird angle on the computer so I can actually film it, so I'm kind of off to one side, okay, output four is going to be high beam headlight, Output 5 will be front fog light. And output 6 will be rear fog light. <laughs> Did it again. Sorry. Front fog light. and rear fog light. Okay, so we now have our six different lights set up on the outputs. The light switch is set for all of those six and our prop channel is set light switch plus and light switch minus. So I'm going to go ahead and power up my SFR. and we're going to transfer the project data. Then I'm going to zoom out so I can show you the uh, stick functions with the lighting. So I've got my, my LED test strip here and it's got outputs 1 through 8 on it. So here's the, here's the way that works. Click it once, it turns on output 1, turns on output 2, output 3, output 4, output 5, and output 6. So now you can see we got six different functions just out of flipping that up and then flipping it down turns them off. On, off. The only disadvantage is you have to do them in order. But typically you're going to be doing that anyway because you're going to turn on maybe your headlights and your fog lights uh, kind of in order. And you can also have it set so that it would turn off something when something else goes on, and I'll, I'll show that on the uh, on the screen again. But very simple, just allows you to do a lot of lighting with one switch. If you've only got a four-channel radio or a six-channel radio, you can do a lot more functions. Now, the way I've shown all my other videos is every time I I move a stick, it turns on a certain light and it's pretty easy to run out of channels. Uh, matter of fact, I just did a truck where I wanted to have remote volume but I ran out of channels, but with this light switch function where you can do a whole bunch of functions with just one stick, you can save a lot of channels on your radio. So it's just kind of a neat little trick uh, for turning lights on. Let me just go back to the screen and do a little clicking with the outputs and just show you how that affects it. So I'm back here on my screen. I'm going to go back to the Outputs tab. Right there. And now I'm on the light switch page. Now for example, the daytime running lights. Let's just unclick these. And we'll transfer the project data. And I'll show you the effect. So here's my little my little light switch or my little test strip. So now I click it once, it turns on the lights. But now when I click number two, number one goes off. So you can have quite a bit of adjustability here. Take a look at the screen. We'll we'll have it so it we'll click these all. and transfer the project data. So now what's going to happen, my little test strip, every time I turn one on, it turns off the previous one. So you have quite a bit of flexibility in how you set these up. Normally you're going to have these pretty much all checked, 
But for example, you might want to have, when the high beam headlights turn in on, you might want to turn off the uh, parking lights or the fog lights or whatever. But uh, you can just play with those real easily. Transfer the data. And then with this test strip, again, we can just see how that works. See, I left number five, so it turned off. So that's how you use the light switch function. Really great function for, uh, for saving radio channels. Uh, it's a simple little function, but it works great, and you'll probably see me using it more and more on some of the trucks I build, um, because I think it'll be easier for customers to operate when I send them a truck. Um, not quite so many instructions. So there you go, the light switch function uh, by our master class. So that's gonna, that's for now gonna end my lighting, uh, my lighting uh, volumes. And now I'm gonna switch back to sounds. We've done the main sounds like engine sounds and horns, but I wanna show how to rip sounds off YouTube, how to record sounds on your phone, how to convert the sound files to, to load them in. Sounds are really good. We'll do some Jake breaks. We'll do some music, uh, and you can you can have a lot of sounds in the uh, SFR or the USM. So um, volume, let's see, that'll be volume 12, 13, 14, 15. Probably will all be on on custom sounds. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.